Hi folks, Paul Regal here with the Arizona Audio Video Club, here today to talk to you about the New Prime Evolution DAC. New Prime was kind enough to send us this DAC as part of our DAC It Out event we held over the summer. Uh, it was one of my favorite DACs at that event, although I did not vote for any of the DACs because I organized it. So um, now I'm going to get to vote on it today. Uh, we've had it in the house for about a month now. New Prime has let me demo it to just kind of give my take on it. And uh, what can I say? I like this deck. It's got a really unique sonic signature in the sense that it has all the details, but yet it has this mellow, relaxing sound you just don't find in other decks, or at least decks that I've tried. So, what's wonderful about that is we have a really lively room, a lot of hard surfaces, and it kind of tones that down. So I'm still getting all the great details and the tracks that I love, but it's not so in my face like some of the other more precise or hard, brittle sounding DACs that I've experienced in the past. So if you have a lively room, this is one to think about. Uh, what else do we like about this deck? It's really well built and it looks cool. It's got a nice case. It's uh, upscale. It weighs like 20 pounds. I know that New Prime spent a lot of time uh, on the power supply. I think there's like two C-Core transformers in there and a bank of capacitors and whatnot. Uh, so that probably adds to the weight. It has kind of this upscale look, you know, very nice finishing and all that. Uh, balanced outputs and RCAs, uh, your typical digital inputs, USB, coax, optical, actually two opticals, which is nice. That's not every deck has two optical inputs. Um, and then it has, you know, these rotary encoders that are also push buttons. Uh, the menu is pretty easy to navigate. You, you can just push a button here and cycle through the menu, or you can use the remote control, which is quite robust and well built in itself. Uh, believe it or not, these buttons, they're ball bearings. So, nice upscale remote. Uh, the volume control is pretty cool. I mean, it's it's not linear, so you get volume at a relatively low level, but as you crank it, it doesn't get super loud. I'm actually using this right now to drive our power amp, so as like a digital preamp, and it works quite well. Uh, I think that's great. If you have an all digital system, you can just skip the preamp and have this be your digital preamp. Uh, okay, so what's a little bit quirky about this? One of the quirks I noticed is that the display is dimmable, but if you turn the DAC off, and I'll, and I'll demonstrate this, it has a standby light which isn't dimmable, and it's kind of bright. Bright enough that if I come out here at night, it illuminates this area pretty well. So, New Prime, if you're listening, if there's any way to dim that beast, that would be awesome. Uh, otherwise, the only other thing I don't love about the display is the coloring. Uh, the black and then dark blue lettering just kind of makes it hard to read when you're seated back in the seating position. But otherwise, form, function, flawless on this particular piece. So if someone were looking for a nice DAC to put into their high-end system, this would be one to consider. I kind of was thinking of an analogy when I was listening to this and I thought to myself, this DAC's a lot like a Napa cab with a couple years in the bottle. Its tannins have softened and mellowed out and what you've got is a refined, relaxed, and mature sound. So, for the discerning audiophile that has maybe a lively room and is looking for a nice deck for their high-end system, this one runs about $32.50, so it's not inexpensive, folks. But uh, if, if you're looking at that price point and you want kind of a refined and mellow DAC, but still giving you everything you want as far as details, sound stage, uh, dimensionality. This is it. So I'm going to give this four and a half suns. Thank you folks for watching. TiVo, what do you think? Do you like this one? What do you give it? What are you rating it? Perfect. That's what I thought. <laughs>